Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mad Meta Magic, where we try to make the magic meta mad. I'm Kano, and today I'll be playing Sanity Grinding Mill. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what Sanity Grinding is, it's reveal the top ten cards of your library, and your opponent mills one card for each blue mana cost amongst those cards. Um, basically around that we have... Archive Trap as our other big mill spell, uh, Chancellor of the Spires as a free mill 7 when the game starts, Mission Briefings to buy back Archive Traps, uh, Force Negation, Archi or Archmage's Charm, and Cryptic Command as counter spells and ways to interact with our opponent, and then some good one mana mill in the form of Thought Scour, Merfolk Secret Keeper, and Hedron Crab. Of course, Visions of Beyond to use for card advantage when we start to run out of cards. Um, this deck was filmed pre-Zendikar, so uh, that's why we're not running eight crabs, basically. I <laughs> uh, can't wait for that, by the way. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take Sanity Grinding into a modern league. Alrighty. Round one, here we go. Double Archive Trap, Force of Negation, Field of Ruined Land, and Thought Scours. I am keeping. Mmm. Okay. Eldrazi Temple. Unfortunately, Force and Negation and Archive Trap, probably not going to be the most helpful thing here. Alright, that's a tower. Matter Reshaper. Well, we're going to fetch an island and Thought Scour our opponent. If they're playing Eldrazi Titans, I'm not sure we can win. Alright, back to our turn. Crab. Play Crab. Play Field. Mill our opponent. Save targets always yield. Okay. Pass the turn. Eldrazi Temple. Reality Smasher. So we're taking 8 damage a turn. Really need to top deck a land to have any kind of chance, I think. Yeah, Cryptic's not a land. So, mill our opponent. Ipnu Rivulet. Mill our opponent. Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Pass the turn. As long as they don't have another Reality Smasher, we should live one more turn. Okay, we're taking 8 and going to 2. They have a Warping Whale. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and exile Warping Whale. Untap. We draw a Snow-Covered Island. So, play the island. Mill our opponent. We're going to get close, but I don't think it's enough. Field... Eldrazi Temple. Oh no, it is. Never mind. We got him. So, Archive Trap. Archive Trap. Mission Briefing. Uh, top, top. Archive Trap. <laughs> got him. <sighs> they weren't playing any Eldrazi Titans. Is there anything interesting we have to worry about? I mean, Karn, but... Cool. <laughs> Game one. Mill 36 cards tends to get there. Okay. So, versus Eldrazi's. Um, I kind of want to bring in Commandeer. <laughs> Aetherize, I think, will might be good enough. Uh, Chancellor, I think, is not going to do enough here, unfortunately. Snapback might also be enough. We probably don't need spell pierce. Aether guts hit. We probably don't need spell pierce. Aether gust doesn't hit anything. My opponent doesn't really draw extra cards, and I guess we could play Ashiok to prevent them from searching, so they can't expedition map. But that'd be it, really. Um. All right, we'll cut the other two chancellors as well. Let's see if this is enough. Well, I like the opener. Unfortunately, we do not have the lands to support the opener. We do have two free spells. But I don't think that's going to be enough, and neither will this. Going to five. All right, it's not ideal, but there's two archive traps in this hand. Visions of Beyond is great to reload, but we have to put back cards that don't immediately turn on our game plan. So, yeah, opponent starts Blast Zone Expedition Map. We start Crab. Pass the turn. There's only one step in the Crab cycle, and it is Crab. Opponent spatial contortions, sure. Uh, play crab. Play island. Mill our opponent. Save targets always yield. Pass the turn. 
Oh, they actually brought in Sky Sovereign. Interesting. If our opponent has to map on their turn, that's good news for us. Warping Whale. Okay. Ask the turn. We draw Merfolk Secret Keeper. So let's go ahead and hit, um, probably, like, we could hit Tower. We could also hit Scavenger Grounds. Scavenger Grounds is annoying because if we top deck a, um, Visions of Beyond, they could exile their grave, but they'd have to sack a land to do that. I don't think they can win if they do. Let's just hit the Tower and be safe. Get an island. Okay, trap. Trap. Um, venture deeper. Okay, pass the turn. We probably hit a lot of the lands our opponent wanted to uh, search for. <laughs> Let's see. They have no Tron lands out. They might have an Eldrazi temple left. I see two... Yeah, they have Eldrazi temples left. Now the question is, can they just play a Smasher and kill us? There's the Eldrazi temple. They play a Relic. They crack Relic. Okay. No Visions of Beyond for us. Matter Reshaper? All right. Well, we are out of cards. They have three left. Play up New Rivulet. Cast Merfolk Secret Keeper. Pass the turn. I'm playing lands because we need to get up to five lands in case we draw a trap. Another Eldrazi Temple. Opponent is incentivized to exile their graveyard like that because they have Karn. All right, they kill Merfolk Secret Keeper by sacking a land. They play Pithing Needle, naming Rivulet almost certainly. Yep. They attack for three. We untap. We draw Thought Scour, which is not a bad draw here. All right, we have a two mana unsummon. <laughs> sure. Okay, put a plays a power plant. Walking Ballista on two. Okay. They go to combat. They attack. Snapback, Matter Reshaper. Okay, our turn. Archmage's Charm. Well, we can gain control of Walking Ballista, but I think it's more advantageous to draw cards or potentially counter, like, a Reality Smasher. So, we'll just wait. Opponent plays a Thought Knot Seer. Yeah, we're going to counter. They replay Matter Reshaper. Get in for two, take us to 15. Cryptic would be a good draw. Island is a little medium. We'll hold Island for a bit. Um, if we draw the third crab, it's good. Um, we do curve out at five. So we take five, go to ten. We untap and draw Archmage's Charm. Okay, I'm going to play an Island. Um, there's a good possibility we want to use Archmage's Charm here. So they're going to hit us for six. We can kill this now if we gain control of it. Yeah, let's do that. It slows the clock. Okay, so opponent's going to deal two damage to us in response. I really don't like doing this because I do want to draw cards, but it gives us three turns right now instead of two. Uh, okay, another matter reshaper. We'll take three. Untap. We draw cryptic. Cryptic is good. So we're going to tap our opponent's creatures and draw. Okay, Visions of Beyond, but right now it's just a cantrip. We don't really have a way to turn that on. They want to exile all cards in graveyards. Okay, so they play Cavern. All right, I'm going to cycle this here, just for a slightly more efficient mana usage. Untap. Got to draw. Mission Briefing or Sanity Grinding? All right, Hail Mary Sanity Grinding. Got to hit 16 blue mana symbols. Does my opponent have a Warping Whale? It's sad. All right, that's game. Let's see what we would have milled them for. So, none, one, four, four. It's five cards. One, two, three, four, five. We milled them for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It would not have killed them. <sighs> All right. Um, hmm. Spell Pierce doesn't really do anything. Snapback felt pretty bad, <laughs> I'll be honest. That probably should just be like an Echoing Truth. Um, I think that was just me memeing. Should probably actually be like a Merfolk Secret Keeper or something like that. I'll play first. 
All right, we got a counter spell, heavy hand, and visions of beyond. No traps, but I think we can keep this. Depending on how fast our opponent's hand is, this could actually be really good. So, start snow covered island, pass the turn. Opponent just brought in their sideboard and is playing more than 60 cards. Okay, that can almost never be correct. Don't do that if you play against Mill. You're going to make your deck so much worse. Okay, we get a Force of Negation. Uh, play Ipnu Rivulet. Pass the turn. If I had to force something here, I would probably pitch Visions of Beyond. Okay, second Power Plant. Pass the turn. We untap. We draw a Field. Um, play Flooded Strand. We're going to have the option of Archmage's Charm here. Okay, Urza's Tower. So I'm going to use Archmage's Charm to draw cards. Okay. They crack map. They were evidently worried that we were going to have some kind of, um, like, counter for activated abilities, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, we draw a Thought Scour. So we definitely need to field them this turn to keep them off of Tron. We're using up a lot of our landfall triggers, but at the same time, like, not really sure what else to do here. We're trying to get to where we have um, Visions of Beyond be more than just a cantrip and be an actual Ancestral Recall, which would be amazing. Hopefully Force of Negation is enough to protect us here. Okay, Cavern on Eldrazi. Okay, it's finally a Thought Knot Seer. Okay, mill them for two. Opponent should almost certainly take Visions of Beyond. Like, we're so close to just hitting a ridiculous amount of value here. They could take Sanity Grinding if they're afraid of just mill cards. Opponent is having a tough time deciding. They take Visions of Beyond, okay. That's probably what I would have taken. Untap. We draw a mission briefing. Okay, so that does guarantee an archive trap, which is nice. Um, so we can either sanity grinding or we can field of ruin mission briefing. And I think we should save that for um, another archive trap draw. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not bad. Um, any order is fine. All right, then I'm going to play field. Pass the turn. We probably would have to pitch Sanity Grinding to Force of Negation if we were going to Force of Negation anything. We could Mission Briefing for, um... Oh no, we can't. Never mind. Our opponent exiles it, because Thought Not Seer exiles. Okay, opponent plays a Reality Smasher. I'm gonna smash some realities. I get in for 9, we go to 9. So we've gotta pretty much mill them out this turn. Okay, we can mill them out this turn. <laughs> Okay, um, so we field um, cavern, get an island, trap, mission briefing, grave, grave, trap, trap, play a land, pass the turn, opponent untaps, and loses. All right, so we took down Eldrazi Tron with Sanity Grinding. It was close, both games. Uh, so we were definitely clenching a little bit, but we got there. And I'll see you guys in round two. All right. Round two. Um, this could be a good start. We'll keep. Um, if our opponent searches, like if their first land's not a fetch land, but their second land is, they might be in a bad way, we'll say. I will say the one bad thing about this is because you're not running black, you don't have Crypt Incursion, and you don't have Surgical Extraction or Hand Hate either. Which is a big deal um, when you're playing Mill. I guess, unless you're playing against Tron, I really hope that my opponent who's playing Tron is playing the new Ulamog and not uh, old Ulamog. Because if they're playing old Ulamog, <laughs> we might be screwed. I'm going to play Flooded Strand despite the fact that this is not optimal for us. We want to save fetch lands for if we get the crab, but um, I want to archive trap, mission briefing archive trap. And I've got the feeling that my opponent could cast a Sylvan Scrying here, which would make that line much better. 
If it's just an ancient stirring, you know, oh, it is a sylvan scrying. Okay. So they get to search. They do not have Tron immediately, which is good. So they find an Urza's mine. Get an island. Trap. Mission briefing. Crab and Cryptic. Kind of want to draw Crab. So we'll put Cryptic into the grave. Crab on top. Hit Archive Trap. Mill them for another 13. Okay. Untap. Draw Crab. Play Crab. Play Rivulet. Mill our opponent. Save targets always yield. Uh, venture Deeper. And we're going to go ahead and just cast our Folk Secret Keeper. Pass the turn. We have not seen any Eldrazi Titan, which means if they have one, it's probably in their hand. Um, or they're not playing one. Okay, opponent plays a map. Probably just cracks map immediately, because there's not that much uh, deck left in their deck. Ooh, Polluted Delta. Play Polluted Delta. Mill our opponent. Fetch Polluted Delta. Okay, opponent cracks map. Fail to find. Fail to find. Oh, <laughs> that would have been so sweet. Uh, we'll get an island. Mill our opponent again. All right, pass the turn. And I think between the rivulets and two draws, we've got them. If my opponent does play something big and scary, we do have cryptic. Okay, power plant. Seven mana. Ugin. Yeah, let's counter and draw. Yeah, this mill deck plays control spells. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. Versus Tron. I definitely want Commandeer because holy crap. Uh, we could steal a Karn and that would be the game. Um, I kind of like Ashiok. Spell Pierce is somewhat tempting as well um, to interrupt their early goings on, but we're going to cut Chancellor for three Ashiok and a Commandeer. So, fun thing about Ashiok is we can still make our opponent search uh, off a of field. They cannot search with their effects, which makes Archive Trap both good and bad. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. All right, Sanity Grinding. Oh, man, if this was an island, I would keep this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this. I've got a suspicion that my opponent is going to start Karn. Okay. Island, please. That is not an island. I think Commandeer might actually be enough to win us this game. Now, if my opponent plays Worm Coil Engine, they play an Ugin, or anything else, um, we are going to be in severe pain. All right, Walking Ballista. Respectable, respectable. Okay, draw an island. Play... play Crab. Pass the turn. Come on. Slam that tower and Karn. <laughs> Do it, you know you want to. Forest. Dang. Alright, we draw Sanity Grinding. Play Crab 2. Pass the turn. You're two-thirds the way to Crabtron. <laughs> Pass the turn. On it attacks. No blocks. Why would we? We untap. We draw Archive Trap. Thought Scour our opponent. We're going to try and hit a land here. Another Thought Scour. Dang. Well, we milled Ugin, so they're not going to cast Ugin. Hopefully. Oh, come on. We just need a land. All right. Opponent plays Chromatic Star. Cracks for green. They draw a card. Chromatic Sphere. Cracks for green. They draw a card. And that's all they got. Take one. Can't block, because then they could kill a crab, and we could never let them do such a thing. Untap. Thought Scour. Well, play Thought Scour. Mill our opponent. Play Rivulet. Mill our opponent a lot. Alright, save targets. Always yield. Um, do we Thought Scour again? Yeah, you know what? We're going to Thought Scour again. Sweet, a fetch land. So now if our opponent plays a big Planeswalker... We just take it and then mill them out. Opponent has gotten severely unlucky. Sylvan Scrying. You got it. I thought about commandeering that at this point, honestly. They play a tower. They can put a counter on and attack. But that's really anemic. 
Like, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> we're going to archive trap in response to anything they do. All right, Karn, great creator. So the first thing we're going to do is mill them for 13. The second thing we're going to do is take Karn. We're going to exile Sanity Grinding and Sanity Grinding. They can no longer activate Ballista. Nice. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> oh, man. This feels a little bit gross. I'm not going to lie. Like, you shouldn't do these things to nice people. We draw Archmage's Charms. We can just take Ballista if we wanted. Um, Play Flooded Strand. Mill our opponent a lot. Fetch with Flooded Strand. Mill our opponent a lot. We have no artifacts in our sideboard. So we're just going to tick up Karn. <laughs> Pass the turn. Um, I mean, we can mill our opponent to one and take them off Tron, so let's do it. If my opponent can somehow come back from this... Oh no, they just died because they found a forest. Never mind. <laughs> we got there. Apparently this deck just bullies various Tron decks without having surgical extraction. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys in round three. Alright, round three, here we go. Uh, Trap Chancellor, I'm gonna keep. Because, um, if my opponent plays a fetch land, we turn one Ancestral Recall. It's Elves! They might play a fetch land. Nope. Elves actually plays a decent number of non, non fetch land uh, lands. Okay. Untap. We draw Polluted Delta, play an island, pass the turn. Well, if they cord, I mean, we're probably losing if they cord, but if they cord. Okay, opponent's taking a long time to name Elf on Cavern. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no, lights. Please don't go out. It was like lightly raining this morning. And if the recording stops and I lose this match, I'm so sorry, everyone. Elvish Archdruid. Uh, can't do anything about that. Um, we're a bit off of forcing our opponent to search. Should we just cycle visions, I wonder? Probably. Yeah. We can't just do nothing this whole game. Alright, well, we drew another vision, so everything's fine. Play an island. Pass the turn. Okay, opponent plays a Razor Verge Thicket. They just have Azuri, which I think means we die. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Well, we can cast an Ancestral Recall by forcing them to search, but uh, we are too far off of Cryptic Mana. And of course, Sanity Grinding, I don't even think if it revealed Mono Cryptics could not mill 44 cards. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go ahead and concede, and opponent knows we're some kind of janky mill deck, but they don't know more than that. So, versus Elves, Aether Gust, Snapback, Aether Eyes, and potentially Disrupting Shoal. Um, Force of Negation is actually kind of minimally good here. Uh, Chancellor, also minimally good. I think Shoal is better than Pierce because we have a lot of one mana spells and our opponent has a lot of one mana elves. So if they play a Heritage Druid, uh, we can nuke it. All right, we'll play first. I can work with this. We'll keep. Aether Gust is not a bad spell versus elves. Play Crab. Pass the turn. I'm super excited about the second one mana Hedron Crab that they're printing in the new Zendikar set. You can't do degenerate things like to mill yourself for dredge because it only targets opponent. So for mill decks, mill decks become eight crab. And I'm super excited about that because your best hands in mill start with crab. Visions, well, mill our opponent. Save targets always yield. We mill Vizier of Remedies. So they're running um, a devoted combo, devoted druid combo. We would Aether Gust and Elvish Arch Druid. Um, or if my opponent doesn't play any lands, we'll Aether Gust whatever this is, pretty much. Devoted Druid. Yep. Yeet. They put it on the bottom. Hmm. <laughs> it's almost like if they put it on top, we would have milled it. Alright, Flooded Strand. Mill our opponent. Fetch. Mill our opponent. With every land we mill, the odds of them getting a second one are lower and lower. Okay, pass the turn. 
Next turn we have Mission Briefing Aether Gust too, which is pretty nice. Another Devoted Druid. Okay. Um, Secret Keeper. Yeah, I think we have to Aether Gust this, and I think we have to do it now. So Miller opponent. Mission Briefing. Thought Scour into the grave. Archive Trap on top. Cast Aether Gust, putting Devoted Druid back somewhere. And they put it on the bottom. Next turn, we're going to field them, trap them, and then draw a lot of cards. They play a Heritage Druid, and another one mana elf of some variant. Nettle Sentinel. Okay, that's somewhat uh, concerning. We untap, we draw Archive Trap, we knew that. So play field, mill our opponent. Two lands. Let's go ahead and hit Cavern. Get an island. Opponent mills again. Uh, archive Trap. <clears throat> okay. Visions of Beyond. We're doing this now because if we hit... Uh, I was going to say if we hit the <sighs> Mission Briefing, we could trap again. So let's Venture Deeper. And uh, Venture Deeper. Okay, pass the turn. Sanity grinding should be a sanity grinding plus polluted delta should definitely be enough to clean up here. Apparently, keeping a one lander versus mill if you're elves is not safe. I mean, we were definitely carried by aether gust this game, hundred percent. So, I don't know why you didn't use heritage druid mana there, and you instead decided to tap your land because heritage druid would have given you three more mana than you have right now. Well, you'd have one extra mana, I guess. But short of, like, green mana, mana morphos, true believer, I think we've got them. If my opponent can find a way to win from here, I'll be um, mightily upset. So they are playing lots of devoted druids, and they're playing... It looks like just green-white elves with devoted druid combo and cord. All right, arch druid. My opponent was, like, very close to just comboing that whole time into a giant elf ball. I suppose they could have Veil of Summer, actually. That would be a problem. How would we beat Veil of Summer? I don't think we can beat a Veil of Summer. Cordex 1. I think they're just playing out their hand. I don't think they have Veil. I think I would see it if they did. They may not have brought it in. They I like Because if you're playing green, you almost certainly have Veil in the sideboard. I mean, it's possible Elves doesn't because they run Cavern and they're probably like, oh, Veil probably doesn't affect us as much, you know. Second Nettle Sentinel. Unless you got a Noxious Revival up your sleeve, though. No, even if you did, your Nettle Sentinels are already untapped. It's your other elves that aren't. Okay. Yeah, I think Sanity Grinding just gets them here. So, Polluted Delta. Mill our opponent. Fetch. Get an island. Mill our opponent. We are doing this first because um, I don't... The last time I played against elves, they had weird ways to get mana. <laughs> and I just, like... I want to have Archmage's Charm back up for Sanity Grinding, which is probably a slow roll. I'm probably just overthinking this because I haven't had all my coffee yet this morning. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. We also get a little bit more information about our opponent's deck, I think, this way. Because if they do have something in hand, they can play somehow. Alright. And then finish it off with a Sanity Grinding. We can actually Archmage's Charm them and force them to draw. <laughs> they don't even get their, their draw for turn. But I don't want to show them that we have Archmage's Charm. Um, game one, our opponent saw literally Chancellor and Islands. <laughs> so um, it's probably beneficial to hide the fact that we have like real counter magic in this deck. Well, the opponent's going to see a ton off of Sanity Grinding, so I guess it doesn't really matter. The odds that we reveal a counter spell or sideboard hate or whatever here is pretty high. Our opponent apparently disconnected. Um, not sure exactly what happened. Did we... did we win? <laughs> I mean, odds are our opponent is just, you know, they have a problem with the Moto client, something that happens frequently. Um, so they'll reconnect here shortly, but... So I'm going to speak just because the auto-editor doesn't like long periods of silence. Uh, oh, good. 
apparently my opponent decided that they have brought shame to the lineage of elves players and um, conceded due to losing to a sanity grinding. So that is three rounds. We're guaranteed a trophy. And I'll see you guys in round four. <laughs> Alrighty, round four. Here we go. Um, we can mill our opponent for 14 right off the start. Nah, I think we got a mulligan. We need more, like, actual interactable spells. So this is good. Um, I'm gonna keep this, and I'm gonna put back Visions of Beyond. I want to get the early mill off of Chancellor to have an I a better idea of what I should be for some negationing here. Um, Visions of Beyond won't be turned on for quite a bit here, so... Unless we draw, like, really good cards. Chancellor of the Spires is a really good card to pitch to Force of Negation. It's not a card that we ever really plan on casting. Opponent's probably like, what? Because they're in the 3-0 and bracket and just got Chancellored. <laughs> so, okay. Opponent starts Forest. Utopia Sprawl. Because of how um, tight our opponent's land drops and stuff are, I am going to actually counter that. Archive Trap is really good here. All right, we can do everything at instant speed, so we're just going to wait. Okay, opponent plays a mountain. Let's go ahead and thought scour our opponent. <sighs> if they search their library, they are going to get triple trapped. I'm not sure anybody can come back from triple trap. Okay. Play field, pass the turn. Every turn where nothing happens is a turn in our favor. Okay, opponent plays Colothus. We untap. We draw Sanity Grinding. Okay, pass the turn. We do need another blue source. That's the one awkward thing about field. Okay, so they're going to exile Stomping Ground, get an additional mana. Blood Braid. They cascade into Lightning Bolt. Sure. They go to combat, get in for three. If we take three, go to 14. I'm going to fetch here. I do want to draw another land, but... Okay. Thought Scour is okay. It's not fantastic. I could Thought Scour now to try and hit a land, but we're leaving up basically killing our opponent with mill if they play a non-basic land, which they might have to. They can get close by playing something like Thundermaw or um, <sighs> Stomping Ground, or Thundermaw or Glory Ringer or something like that off of a Stomping Ground. Maybe I should not have fetched, actually. Okay, opponent plays a Chandra. Okay, they hit us for two. They attack for three. I think at this point our opponent is just not going to play a non-basic land. Ooh. Thought Scour our opponent. They melt mountain, wooded foothills. Untap. We draw Chancellor of the Spires. Okay, pass the turn. And if they crack that Verdant Catacombs, they lose. Alright. So I think we're actually dead here. Opponent could play like anything and... <sighs> they hit us for two. They're going to attack us down to one. There's so many things they have that kill us. Stomp. Yeah, Stomp will do it. Because I don't think you can Mission Briefing Force of Negation. I guess now would be a fine time to find out. Put this into a grave. Oh, hang on, actually. Can I undo that? Crap. Well, it doesn't matter because it, it would produce uh, mana we couldn't use anyway. Put both into the grave. Hit Force of Negation. Oh, we can use alternative mana cost. Exile Chancellor. Okay. Untap. We draw Sanity Grinding. Um, but we no longer have Lethal Mill, is the problem. And we die to Clothis immediately. Yeah. No, opponent got smart. Chancellor gave it away. Alright. Um, so, Chancellor's out. I'm going to run Commandeer. Um, Aether Gust's in as well. We are going to cut... Um, what do we cut for Aether Gust? I'm running Commandeer because my opponent is running Planeswalkers and Pillages. And if we steal either one of those things, odds are our opponent cannot win. Um, 
I'm going to cut a Visions of Beyond, and I'm going to cut a Thought Scour. We're going to run it back. Aetherize and Snapback are both tempting here, but I don't think either one of them is going to be particularly good. We should probably also run a Disrupting Shoal, because our opponent does have a lot of one-mana plays, and so do we. But, um, yeah. It didn't end up making it in the deck, so. All right, we're going to keep. Double Trap is generally too good to pass up. Especially when your opponent isn't going to... Like, if they play a fetch land, they're probably going to play it first. We partially made a mistake last game because I like I don't know why I was compelled to crack that fetch, but it gave my opponent an additional mana, which let them cast something. And we could have actually forced them to potentially play a, and crack a fetch land. So we're going to play an island and pass. Come on, start fetch land. It's the safest thing first, right? There it is. They get a Stomping Ground, untapped. They play an Arbor Elf. Alright, begin the Nuclear Mill. Okay, Force of Negation. Um, if my opponent plays something we absolutely cannot deal with, I guess we could Force. But I don't want to pitch our only action. I guess I'll hit Pillage um, if they cast that. Magus of the Moon... Oh, we can't do anything about that. We already have double blue, which is quite nice. Really hoping to draw an, another blue spell. Okay, Archmage's Charm can at least be pitched to Force of Negation. So play Ashiok. Mill our opponent. And exile their grave. No, uh, we milled Lightning Bolt, Magus of the Moon, Forest, Arbor Elf. Okay. They play a Mountain. And they cast a Blood Braid. They're going to Cascade into a Pillage. Okay. I will Force Pillage. We can't give up two blue. Um, but unfortunately, this does let our opponent kill Ashiok. Okay, we draw Sanity Grinding. I'm going to hold this Polluted Delta in hand. If we draw another Island before our opponent draws a Land Destruction spell, I think we're safe. Nope. Okay, Sanity Grinding is never going to get cast. We draw a Mission Briefing, which we can no longer cast either, but our opponent likely is not going to search their library at this stage of the game. That would be a quick win, if they somehow did. Alright. Get pillaged again. Well, we drew the island, but it's far too little too late. I mean, okay... Blood Moon into triple land destruction, so we were not destined to win this one. <sighs> we were so close game one, too. Our opponent was just, just smart enough to not run into the catastrophic milling. <laughs> so, all right, I'll see you guys in round five. All right, round five, here we go. Yeah. Double Crab Fetchland is one of the best openers that Mill can have, so we are definitely keeping this. Chancellor of the Spire is just going to accelerate our Mill a little bit, let our opponent know what's going on immediately. Okay, we're going to keep Reveal Chancellor. I guess Chancellor was kind of bad because versus the um, Grohl opponent, like Grohl Ponza, um, our opponent knew not to play Fetchlands. Oh, we just milled two Goyfs and two Death Shadows. <laughs> opponent could totally punish us and just like turn one Gurmog Angler and we'd be screwed. <sighs> okay, opponent starts Verdant Catacombs, cracks it, gets a Watery Grave. Thought Seize, okay, almost certainly takes a Crab, like 100% takes a Crab. It's our only early game action. Yeah, okay, they play a Bobble, they play a Bobble, and they're going to look at the top card of both players' decks, I guess. Oh, they're going to look at our top deck twice and draw two additional cards. So we draw a Field of Ruin, and they know we have it. Play an Island, play Crab. Opponent could have a kill spell like a Fatal Push for Crab, and that would suck. But um, this is important because if we happen to draw another Crab uh, again, it becomes this incredible, like, mill 12 spell every time we play a fetch land. Okay, opponent plays Polluted Delta, cracks it. Gets an Overgrown Tomb and reduces their life total to 12. Cycles a Street Wraith. Inquisition. Hits Archmage's Charm. We untap. We draw a Mission Briefing. 
Um, so play Polluted Delta, mill our opponent, save targets, always yield. We mill Stubborn Denial, Teamer Battle Rage, and Street Wraith. Um, yeah, we're going to just fetch an island. We want to draw non-land interactive spells. So getting rid of more lands out of our deck here is pretty good. I think we milled all of our opponent's threats because they don't have a delve threat in hand. They didn't play Shadow last turn. Play a Verdant Catacombs and pass. So we untap. We draw another Chancellor, which is really bad. Um, play Field. Mill our opponent. Okay, opponent's going to crack Verdant Catacombs. Get a Blood Crypt tapped. We could Mission Briefing and see if we can hit an Archive Trap. But... I don't think that's worth it. The question is, do we field our opponent off of any color of mana? No, we definitely save it to force through a archive trap if we get one. Okay, opponent plays a nurturing peatland. The crack nurturing peatland. Wow, we've just happened to like mill over all of our opponent's threats so far, which is amazingly lucky and awesome. Opponent fatal pushes. Um, we could mill our opponent here for three. Or we could mission briefing, try and hit force of negation, but I don't think we do either of those things. While the crab is important, um, I think we need our mana this turn potentially. All right, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. This would be really hilarious if we actually get to the point we're casting chancellors of the spire. Okay, opponent untaps. They play another nurturing peatland. There are exactly two Archive Traps from Dead. I'm super tempted to field them off of blue. I know they don't run basic islands. And that would stop any stubborn denial shenanigans. But we're going to wait until uh, we draw an Archive Trap, I think, to do that. Alright, Visions of Beyond is fantastic. Let's go ahead and Ancestral Recall. Alright. Play an island. Pass the turn. Okay, opponent plays a Swamp. Traverse the Alvenwald. Okay. We can pay for a Stubborn Denial without a threat on board. Opponent searches up Luris. They don't have Stubborn Denial. Or maybe they do and they have to retap because they realized what they were doing. So they do have Stubborn Denial. Okay. Trap. <laughs> Mission Briefing. Uh, top, top. Target trap, and trap. That should do it. Mm, yep, that's a really nice force spike you have there, opponent. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> yeah, turns out when you're a uh, threat light and um, you keep a hand with no threats, mill can get you. Alright, so now the question is what do we bring in? I'm definitely bringing in Disrupting Shoal. I think Ashiok is pretty important. Um, Aether Gust is somewhat playable, but they don't play too many green spells and too many red spells. Um, if they're casting Team or Battle Rage, we're probably dead anyway because they have huge threats. And this does hit Abrupt Decay, but Abrupt Decay pretty much only hits Hedron Crab and Ashiok, and they don't run that many. Um, Snapback is kind of nice. Okay, so first Chancellor out. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place with this. Uh, Chancellor out for sure. Um, I can I can trim some Visions of Beyond because it does not have synergy with uh, Ashiok, though it's a good effect, and I still probably want at least one. Aetherize is kind of nice, but our opponent is just going to replay everything that they put in their hand anyway. And I think I want Spell Pierce. Um, just seems kind of good. Question is, what do I play? What do I take out instead of uh, you know playing Spell Pierce? Um. I'll cut Thought Scour and one more Visions, and we'll try it like that. Alright, um, Double Force, Trap, and Ashiok seem nice, so I'm going to keep this hand. We can pitch a Thought Scour to a Force. Alright, opponent starts Polluted Delta. And passes. We draw our own Polluted Delta. Start Island, pass the turn. Okay. I want to play a Breeding Pool untapped. Alright, end of turn we can Thought Scour our opponent. Opponent is going to Stubborn Denial a Thought Scour. Don't care too much about that. 
Mission briefing is good, so play Flooded Strand, pass the turn. Okay, opponent untaps. And passes. We untap. We draw Archmage's Charm, which is also another good draw. Play Polluted Delta, pass the turn. Opponent cracking a fetch on their turn would be super bad for them because we have Force of Negation back up for anything that we're doing. <sighs> but our opponent is also not drawing lands. I'm going to fetch. I know this is really bad if we draw um, Hedron Crab, but I want to use the draw two mode right now and see if I can bait anything out of my opponent. Okay, they cast Stubborn Denial again. So I'm going to force the Stubborn Denial, and I'm going to pitch Force. If they have a third Stubborn Denial, this is a problem, but that lets us get off an Archive Trap. Okay, they do fetch for a Watery Grave, and they Stubborn Denial again. Okay, go ahead and trap them. So we lose Force, we lose Archmage's Charm, no Mission Briefing, untap. We draw Sanity Grinding, which, while tempting, I don't think is as good as Ashiok here. Ashiok prevents them from using any more fetch lands, traverse the Alvenwalds, etc. We mill Peatland, Death Shadow, Coligon's Command, and Disdainful Stroke. We've also turned off all of our opponent's Delve Threats and Tarmogoyfs. We get Thoughtseize, so our opponent can take Sanity Grinding. Um, or they can take Mission Briefing. Mission Briefing represents more different spells, including free Force of Negations, like basically as counter spells. Um, and by that I mean literal counter spell, because it's double blue. But we would also have to pitch a blue card out of hand for that to work. But landing Ashiok here is a very good place to be. And this is a tough spot for our opponent. They can take the guaranteed mill spell, or they can give us utility. Like, they can either give us utility or give us a guaranteed big mill spell. They take the guaranteed mill spell from us, and they play a Death Shadow as a 1-1. We untap, we draw a Snapback. So, cast Snapback. Okay, mill our opponent. They mill Swamp, Bloodstained Mire, Thoughtseize, and Tarmogoyf. Okay, they play Bobble, they play Shadow. And they're doing that specifically to make Shadow larger. Okay, we untap. We draw Crab. Play Crab. Mill our opponent. I'm going to leave this over on the left so we can see all the things we've milled. And know what we have to be aware of and what we don't. So we milled Stubborn Denial, Overgrown Tomb, Fatal Push, and Bloodstained Mire. Okay, it looks like our opponent has a Dismember. Which does make Shadow large enough to have to deal with. But we can't really mission briefing for anything here. So our opponent is just going to take us off of all of our resources. They are going to draw an extra card after seeing what's on top of our deck. But right now the only way we're casting this mission briefing is if my opponent searches what's left of their library. I was kind of hoping to hit a land so that we could bounce this shadow again and get another good mill out of our opponent. Or out of Ashiok I mean. They might still just attack us, thinking they can race Ashiok, which they might be able to do. Opponent also cannot search their library with Ashiok on board, which they just found out. This also means mission brief briefing for Archive Trap does not work because our opponent did not search their library. Opponent is now thinking about what just happened, and uh... Alright. Opponent plays a Lurus, which will let them play a Mishra's Bauble out of Grave. Okay. Um, Field of Ruin would be very nice here. We could hit our opponent with a trap. They have to decide between killing Ashiok or attacking us. And I think now, from this position, they should attack us. They do. Okay. Take 8. Go to 10. So, what do we need? We need a Sanity Grinding, or... Um... I don't know if Thought Scour will do it. But let's let's try. See what we hit. Island. Um, I don't think that will do it. Oh, you know what? I guess I could have mission briefinged for uh, snapback with um, thought scour in hand and bounced this. Bought myself another turn. I think that was a mistake. Hmm. 
We can mission briefing for Thought Scour, but that doesn't do anything. Um, yeah. I think I just punted this game away. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, alright, we'll mill with Ashiok. They're also playing Ashiok. Um, play a snow covered island, pass the turn. Yeah, we were one archive trap away from killing them. Yeah. All right. Concede. There's nothing we can do there. So, I probably could have won that one, but I messed it up. I don't think we make any adjustments. I think we play it exactly as is right now. If we get a good proactive start with crabs, we're probably going to win, especially if our opponent takes a long time to play a threat. Ashiok also seemed quite good against our opponent. It's funny that they play the card and still walked into Ashiok that had been on board for several turns. It's almost like static abilities on Planeswalkers are hard to remember and not fun to play against. Watsy. Not that I'm upset or anything that Ashiok, Narset, and Teferi all have incredibly powerful abilities and are three mana. Uh, Narset and Narset, Ashiok, and Teferi are probably the number one cards that make my current Battle of Wits list unplayable, which makes me super sad because Battle of Wits was my favorite deck to play, and um. It plays those cards, because you have to, but the fact of the matter is there's no redundant copies of that effect anywhere for any mana cost, basically. So you can't uh, you can't do the Battle of Wits thing, which is load up on multiple play sets of cards that do the same thing with them, which makes them bad. Alright, we have Archive Trap, Snapback, Force, and Archmage's Charm. I'll keep, because this is pretty interactive, um, and hopefully it's enough. You're going to start Ipnu Rivulet and pass the turn. I think we have to force Hand Hate if they've got it, because we're going to need these traps to resolve. So start Rivulet, pass the turn. They start Swamp, Thought Seize. Okay, I'm going to exile Archmage's Charm. Tell my opponent no. Okay, we draw Merfolk Secret Keeper. So I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. Mill my opponent for four. Street Wraith, Cling to Dust, Bobble, Thought Seize. Okay. Fetch, get an island, and cast Secret Keeper. I know that wasn't technically optimal because uh, we could pump Fake a Spell Pierce, as well as any number of other things. Okay, opponent plays a Tarmogoyf. It is quite large because we have milled our opponent. We draw Archmage's Charm. So play Polluted Delta and pass the turn. Okay, opponent plays a Polluted Delta. They're going to Fatal Push our Merfolk. Okay. So we're going to Unsummon Tarmogoyf. If they fetch to counter this, uh, we mill them with Archive Trap. Okay. We do take five, though. Okay. 20 cards in their grave. We draw Cryptic. Pass the turn. I'm really hoping Archmage Charm does something for us here. If my opponent has multiple Stubborn Denials, we're probably just done. So they hit us for 5. Crack Polluted Delta, get an Island. We have to kind of painfully do this. Draw 2 cards. Opponent says no. Land for Cryptic. That's technically a land for Cryptic. We're going to do this on our turn to minimize... I guess we could have done it on our opponent's upkeep, but... Okay, we draw an Archmage's Charm. Pass the turn. Problem is, I don't see us milling 30 before our opponent uh, kills us with Goyf. Because of how low we've gotten. This is one place where Crypt Incursion would make a big difference. Yeah... Um, we have to draw Snapback, I guess. Unfortunately, Sanity Grinding does not do it, and we are dead to the Tarmogoyf attacking. Uh, well, you know, I can't be too mad. Uh, we do get a treasure chest, so I'm going to go ahead and open that now. Moto. Moto. Okay. 
Treasure chest. We get five, five, what is five? Five play points. A mind leecher, which is something from Ikoria Commander, I believe. And ooh, Sacred Foundry, Sacred Foundry's nice. Uh, shock lands are usually worth like a couple of tickets at the bare minimum, even when they're like in standard and whatnot and being opened constantly. So, okay, what do I have to say about this deck? Um, Chancellor of the Spires, horrible top deck. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually, I think, lost a game and potentially a match to the fact that we revealed one in our opener, which I thought was interesting. My opponent was smart enough to recognize that, oh, he's playing Mill, that means he's playing Archive Trap, and I'm not going to play any non-basic lands for as long as I can possibly get away with, because if I do, he's going to mill me a ton. And that was interesting. Um, so more Mill faster is not necessarily uh, better which I thought was uh, very interesting. Um, also, I did punt a game, I punted a game, potentially punted a game, versus Death Shadow. Uh, had I mission brief, instead of casting Thought Scour, had I mission briefing, I could have cast Snapback for its al alternative cost, unsummoning Death Shadow, which would have bought me another turn. It would have let me mill another four cards with Ashiok. So, um, and because we mission briefing, we could have seen the top of our deck was Field of Ruin and Thought Scour, and we could have put Thought Scour on top and milled a guaranteed uh, six more cards than we milled. I believe my opponent was at 13 or 14 cards in deck, so it kind of depended on what we drew off of Thought Scour, whether or not that would have actually mattered. But um, I, didn't, I didn't take the optimal line, and I lost. So I'm going to count that as a punt. Um, for, yeah, I think if you want to play Sanity Grinding... Um, this deck is not a bad way to do it. If New Rivulet was kind of like so-so, I think we won a game because of it, so I'm glad that we had it, but uh, having seven lands and seven fetch... seven real mana-producing lands and seven fetchable lands, or seven land-fetching lands, is like kind of like, you know, I don't know. Um, if you want to play this deck, I would wait until um, the new Zendikar set comes. Literally trade one-for-one one drop Chancellor, play four more crabs. I literally think that would make this deck so much more insane because if you think about like the hand where we had two of these in hand we couldn't cast we milled our opponent for seven but if we had two crabs in hand we would have milled them for like 45 or something like that because of all of the lands that we had so it was like field fetch which would have been 12 each and then like three more lands which would have been six each so that's 24 32 lands or 32 cards milled off of those lands yeah so definitely wait for second crab. There's also uh, mono blue breaking and entering that can be kicked to become traumatize. Um, I forget what it's called. It's got Jace on the card. The flavor text is about the singing city. I remember literally everything about that card except the um, name of it. But that card is also coming out. That card is a boon for mill decks because it's better than mind sculpt, which is two mana mill seven. It's two mana mill eight. And if you kick it for, for four additional mana, they mill half their library. I don't think the kicker will ever be relevant, but it's possible in a deck like this where if we keep a hand that's mostly cantrips and things like counter spells, uh, you could actually get up to six mana and you could, you know, mill half of your opponent's deck. It would immediately turn on Visions of Beyond. And I think it's actually quite playable. And um, yeah, so and plus it's mono blue for things like Sanity Grinding and the fact that you're only playing Islands. Um, yeah, so... If you guys like this deck, you want to see more Sanity Grinding, or you want to see more mill decks, please leave a like, drop a comment, let me know. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined, and if you want to, I stream on Twitch. You can follow me on there. I stream Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Same username on there as you find me on here. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!